Hey guys, it's John. And Kimmy. Welcome to Virtual Last Reward, part 38, I think. I think so too. So, uh, we are on the last what? leg of things, heading into what appears to be the last part of the game. These little question marks here, these are just like, oh, they left. They betrayed you and they left. It's or Pink Skull End. Yeah, Pink Skull Ends. Oh. So, yeah. <clears throat> So these are the white doors that Kay and Clover were talking about. Yeah, this is the lock thing. No question, these are the chromatic doors, I guess. So it seems. Ah! What? When did you- I've been here the whole time. <laughs> I've been here for 25 didn't years! We, didn't we just get here? Yeah. Seriously? I didn't notice you at all. Oh, I guess your hearing's starting to go. How sad. All right, don't be weird. So, what do you want? Why are you stalking me? I'm not stalking you. I just followed you here. It's the same thing. That's pretty much the same thing. But how did you do it? You were totally silent. Are you Batman? I already told you I'm not. Remember? Back in the AB room when we met? Yeah, she said she's not Batman, Aquaman, Superman, Spider-Man. Right. I am no man. Very I am weird thing. no man. Very weird thing to say. She yeah. is the one who knocks. Actually. Very good reference. Thank you. He also jumps super high all the way up to the ceiling. Right. Aren't you curious about that graffiti? Graffiti? Right. Oh yeah, that. Memento Mori if the ninth lion ate the sun. Did a kid write that or what? <laughs> Why do you say that? Well, they managed to spell ninth wrong. Who puts an E in there? You're right. Then again, maybe it means something. Mm. Oh, maybe it means something. Do you know what it means? The Latin part. Hey now, give me a little credit. Even I know what me memento mori means. You see it all over the place. As far as I know, it translates to something like, be aware of death or remember your mortality. Never forget that we all die someday. I guess it's just sort of a cautionary thing. What about the other part? It's exactly what it says on the tin, right? Some sort of conditional about lions and sons. Hmm. Anything come to mind? No, nothing. Nothing at all. Hmm. What about you? Me? Huh. Well, let's see. Memento Mori, if the ninth lion ate the sun. I repeat the words over and over in my head, but nothing. Whatever they meant, it was beyond me. But, per but perhaps Phi. Latin. Huh? Don't you know Latin? Maybe you can figure out more. Maybe you can figure more of it out. Well, I know a little. More than most people, I guess, but I'm not an expert. And how do you know that phrase? Elapsum simul occasionum reprehendere thing. Oh. Reprehendere! That. That's from, um. this. She unpinned the brooch from her chest as she spoke. And all her clothes fell off. And held it out to me. I hesitated for a moment, then took it. Look at the back. I turned it over. Hmm. I'm not gonna read it again. Reprehendere! Reprehendere. <laughs> so I guess the I is pronounced like a J in Latin, huh? Yeah. What is this? A memento of my late mother. Well, I guess it's something like a memento. What does that mean? She died right after I was born. I was raised by foster parents, and they told me where the brooch had come from. Apparently, it was the only thing my mother had left behind. What about your father? Don't have one. I guess you could say I was a bastard. I never saw his face, and I don't know his name. I don't even know if he's alive. Oh. Couldn't think of anything else to say, so I just handed her back the brooch. That phrase got to be almost like a prayer for me. Whenever I had to make a tough decision, I'd say it to myself. Sometimes I'd just repeat it over and over like a chant. Before long, I had it memorized. It got me interested in Latin, and I started studying the language. Elapsum simel occasionum 
Non ipsy protest Jupiter reprehendere. <laughs> Why do you? That's a weird thing to. Okay. I mean, I guess if it's on the back of a brooch mm -hmm. that you were like born with, apparently. Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. Sounds nice, doesn't it? But it seems kind of funny now. I mean, look at us. We've done what Jupiter can't. We can find our lost opportunities. That's why I followed you here. I thought it would be a good idea to talk to you about all this. Alone. Yeah. I agree. There's something else we need to do too, though. Find the number two bomb. Exactly. So we should get going. I'm pretty sure the bomb isn't in here. There's nowhere to hide it. So... You're saying we should go somewhere else. Yeah. Well, come on, don't just stand there. We need to get a move on. Without waiting for a reply, she turned and started toward one of the exits. I followed. Now, we haven't found the number two bomb yet, right? We no. just have the code for it. We have the code for all four bombs, I believe. Zero through three. Zero through three. But I believe we've only found... One and three. Zero, one, and three. Where was zero? Uh, we'll say there's one in the bee garden, there's one in the crew quarters, and there's one underneath the desk in the chemistry room. Laboratory. Remember? Yes, We dropped I do. the second accelerator down there, and then uh, <laughs> Phi crawled down and was like, um, guys? Yeah. The archives. Good place to hide a bomb. Now where the hell do we start looking? I doubt it really matters. If it's here, we'll find it eventually. So what about that Jupiter stuff? We can talk while we look. Now get started. Yes, ma'am. I turned to a corner of the room and began to look while Phi spoke. I'll start with a conclusion I've come to. Our consciousnesses seem to be able to jump through time. No, sorry. Through time isn't really accurate. It's more like we move through worlds. Worlds? Yes. I don't mean physical planets in this case. Talking about a whole different universe, really. Parallel worlds. Dimensions. What? Yeah. Do you know about the many worlds interpretation? Well, kind of. I think I've heard it once or twice. Mm. Oh, well, I'll just explain it. Let's say... Mm. Thanks, Fi. I don't care what it is, but could you move? Uh... Scratch your head, cross your arms, put your hands on your hips. Anything? I had no idea what this was supposed to explain, but I did as she'd asked. Let's put... You want to applaud? I don't know. What do you want to do? Let's put our hands on our hips. Um, how about this? Is this okay? That's fine. You put your hands on your hips just now, right? But you could have chosen to clap your hands or cheer. Now, maybe there are other Sigmas in other worlds who did all of those things. All of these worlds and realities are branching off from one another. The choices you could have made branched off from the moment you decided what you were going to do just now. Isn't this uh, what uh, French existentialism? I don't know. There's a. I remember in a philosophy class watching a movie about a French theory, basically this, where like one little thing can change the outcome. It's like the butterfly effect. Yeah, it's kind of like that. We'll talk about every it more. moment you make a decision, another universe branches off, on and on into infinity. Each of those branches is an alternate world. A world where a version of you did something different. Haven't you ever thought about what life would have been like if you'd made different choices? What if you'd gone to this high school instead of that one? What if you hadn't started a study group? What if you hadn't told that girl you liked her? What if? What if? But are those what ifs really just what ifs? Or are there other worlds out there where you did those things? Anyway. That's the many worlds interpretation in a nutshell. I've simplified it a lot. It doesn't have to be human actions, though. I just used your actions to make the explanation easier to grasp. The actions of a cat, the flight of a bee, the movement of a microorganism, even fluctuations in air temperature. All these can change history. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second here. I'll let microorganisms slide, but there's no way that air is conscious of anything. Can you say for sure that you are? What? All of your actions are caused by the cells in your brain. If we go down a little further, then you could say all of your actions are the result of atoms or electrons or smaller particles we haven't even discovered yet. Are those atoms and electrons still you making a decision at that level? How different are you from the air? I'd say not much. Human existence is just one part of reality. Falling in love is like a tulip blossoming. A tulip blossoming is like a tornado forming in South America. See what I'm saying? The only thing that really matters is the action of the most elementary particles of matter. That's where history happens. That's where universes branch out. Hey, you stopped. Are you done with that shelf? Oh, uh, no, not yet. Well, keep looking while I talk. How familiar are you with quantum physics? <laughs> well, it was well, my major. <laughs> well, Kimmy, how familiar are you with quantum physics? Uh, quite. Never mind, don't answer that. I'll try and keep it simple <laughs> for you. Hmm, let's see. How familiar are you hey, with quantum physics? Hand me that box, will you? Uh, enough to think it's all very silly. What? I'm handing you a box. Don't show them that. It's just nuts. Well, it was. I want them to know that I eat men's health recommended mix planters nutrition. That's why I, well, I guess it was the barcode. Oh, look, it, sh it shows through. The cue's out. Oh, that's pretty gross. <laughs> anyway, we're, this is an important part. Can you not? Can, you are like a child sometimes. Sorry, I'm, I'm ready. Okay, yes. This one, sure. I handed the box I'd been examining over to her. She set it down on the desk and opened the top. Here's the bomb. Also, hmm. ah, there's a stuffed lion over there. Perfect. He's part of Felide too. What is that's the, Felide? That's the cat family, basically. Oh. Or Order, or whatever. Yeah. Phoenus. <laughs> Phoenus? Genus. I, I, yeah. yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever it is. With that, she grabbed the line and tossed it unceremoniously into the box. She also took a weight and an ink jar and put them in next to the lion. All right. Everything's ready. Some people watching may be able to tell where this is going. Yeah. Ready? I remember that book in the crew quarters about Schrodinger's cat? It relates to all this stuff I've been talking about. Anyway, come look at the box. What about looking for the- This'll only take a minute. Now look. I shrugged and peered into the box. What do you see? Well, there's a stuffed lion. From now on, that's a cat. A living cat. This is important. Got it? Yeah, it's a cat meow. Oh man. This again? Sorry. So weird. I can't help it. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. Ugh. Fine. Maybe I can just ignore it. Feline. <laughs> For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Alright, what else do you see? Uh, wait, that's not even a pond. And a jar of ink. Right. A pond? A pond, like a pound, but paw. Wow. Yeah. Now the weight is going to be radioactive material. And the jar of ink is full of poisonous gas. What? I'm kidding out of here. Idiot. It's not really full of gas. This is just hypothetical. Imagine that it's full of gas. So, this is a very sad situation for the, the cat. Radioactive material. And the jar of ink. It's full of poisonous gas. Exactly. Good work. Now, there's one other thing you need to know about the jar. If it's struck by any of the alpha particles the radioactive material emits, it'll break. These particles are emitted randomly, but there's a 50% chance that one of them will come into contact with the jar over the course of an hour. So let's close the lid. Kitty. And pretend an hour has passed. Here's the question. Is the cat inside of the box alive or dead? You can't open the box to check. 
hand, you can't hit the box. Obviously, you can't shake it either. It's also been soundproofed, so the cat could be howling up a storm in there and you'd never know. Basically, you have no idea what's going on inside the box. Do you remember what happens if the alpha particles hit the jar? It breaks, gas fills the box, the cat inhales it, and death will whisk her away. And what if the jar doesn't break? Mm, the cat lives to tell the tale. Ha ha. And what are the chances of either of those things happening? About 50%. Uh-huh. So, what's your answer? Is the cat alive or dead? I can't personally know. Then guess. It's not hard. Alive or dead? Um... Alive. The cat is... Pause for dramatic effect. Alive! Nope. You're wrong. It's dead? That's wrong, too. Then what's the right answer? The answer is that it's in a state where it is neither dead nor alive. What? How does that make any sense? It's an extrapolation of something we see at the atomic level. We don't know if an atom is spinning upward or downward until we measure it. Before it's measured, those two possibilities coexist. But as soon as the measurement is taken, obviously, only one possibility is the truth. That's what's happening with the alpha particles. Since we can't know when they were emitted or where, we only know the probability that they'll impact the jar. Because we can't observe anything that's happening in the box, that becomes the entire system. In other words, the box is like the atom. We don't know how the cat's life or death situation has resolved itself until we look at it. Until we do, it's just a bunch of possibilities. Do you get it? It's just it's a the state of knowledge. It's possibilities. Then it's both alive and dead. Right. So, let's open the lid. And when we do, all the possibilities will collapse into a single truth. Meow. What a relief, huh? Looks like the cat's alive. Anyway, that's Schrodinger's cat. Fucking stupid. It is. It's just talking about the state of knowledge. Well, it's, it's talking about ideas. It, it was... It was never meant to be taken literally. It's like yeah. a macro example of something that happens at the microscopic level. And it's clearly intended to be ridiculous mm -hmm. because it doesn't work that way right. at the macro level. The many worlds interpretation is one theory for explaining that weirdness. Unfortunately, some people take it very literally, Schrodinger's cat, even though it's not meant to be. Right. So there's another world out there where the cat died. Yeah, that's the idea. How silly. Yeah. Looks like that cat tick of yours cleared up. Yeah. Well, your story was pretty insane. Insane? You don't think so? Just the idea of something being alive and dead at the same time. And the moment the lid is open determines whether or not the cat's dead. Sorry, I, it really annoys me. Determines whether or not the cat's dead, then it's almost like events in the future can determine the past. I mean, the cat doesn't die when you open the lid, so it must have already been dead. Exactly. You've experienced it, haven't you? What on earth are you talking about? Think back. Remember round two of the AB game? When you chose betray, what was my vote? Ally. But what happened this time? I chose ally, and you chose betray. Right. And both times, I put in my vote a full minute before the deadline. When did you push the button? Right before the deadline. I see. Well, that makes us a little easier to explain. If you chose betray, then my vote was ally. If you chose ally, then my vote was betray. But I made my choices a whole minute before you made yours. Don't you think that's strange? You do see what I'm saying, don't you? That my choice in the future altered your action in the past. Yeah. From your perspective, there's no other way to interpret it. Hmm. 
Now that I thought about it, round one had been the same. When I had chosen ally, Alice had chosen betray. And when I had chosen betray, she'd done the opposite. I'm so glad that they're addressing this. Yeah. Look at this die. That's what Tamioji did in the other one, the other mm -hmm. timeline too. I found it over there. Let me give you one last example. I think we're good on examples. They're, they're drilling this into your brain for a reason though. I believe it. As she spoke, she tossed the die into the box and quickly shut the lid. All right, answer this question. What number is the die on? All of them. All and none of them. Wanna, what do you want to answer? Four. Has to be four. Okay. I'm going to open the lid. Good job. You got it right. That was just a fluke. Was it? Huh? Let's think about what was going on before I opened the lid. What number was the die on? Four, of course. Haven't you been paying attention? The die is still a collection of atoms, isn't it? I don't think you can reasonably suggest that it was made of some different kind of matter. Wait, so you're saying that before you opened the lid, the die was on all the numbers? Uh-huh. That's one way to look at it, at least. An incorrect way to look at it. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. And then, when you opened the lid, it was just one number. Or... It might have become that number when you declared which one it was. John's mate! This is wrong! Wrong! <laughs> huh? Wait, what do you mean? Your choice in the future has an effect on the past. I think the best way to reconcile this is to pretend like this is a totally this different world. This is just world. how the game's universe works, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, we have to just accept that. It's just that. very frustrating. Because this is not how actual reality it's works. It's very frustrating. That's crazy. I'd be like, do it again. It's frustrating because... Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. I've seen some people try to posit this sort of thing in reality. They forget about the element of chaos. <laughs> well, they forget that they're taking something that works in like the fucking quantum physics realm and they're taking it and they're putting it somewhere where it doesn't work that way. <laughs> yes. We got a little off topic there, but I think I made my point. Yes. Reality separates all yeah, you made your the shitty infinite point. number of branches for each and every possibility. Okay. This is like the only part of the game that I'm like... You and I seem to be able to jump from branch to branch. Of course, our bodies aren't doing the jumping. Our consciousnesses just sort of dive into other versions of ourselves in other worlds. Whoa. I think I get it now. That's how you knew my name, right? You jumped in from another world. That's how you knew all those other things you shouldn't have known. Yeah. That's the best I can figure out, at least. Unfortunately, it seems like we don't retain all our memories when we jump. Maybe we only remember particularly important things. I'm not sure how it works. But whatever the reason, it seems to be fairly limited. And often, we don't seem to remember jumping at all. Things will just sort of pop up. That's why when someone asks us how we know X, all I can think of to say is, I just knew. Yeah. What's causing this, then? I don't remember ever doing this before, so... Why would it start now? If we knew that, I don't think we'd be having so much trouble. It's just... Just what? Well... I'm pretty sure it has to do with why we're locked up in here. There's no way this doesn't have something to do with whatever Zero Senior's trying to do. Why would he have left that Schrodinger's cat book in the crew quarters? Hmm... You aren't kitten, are you? Maybe this is some sort of huge Schrodinger's cat experiment. And all nine of us are locked up inside the box right meow. What if you've got it backwards? Backwards? We're outside of the box. And the rest of the world is inside. Then the moment we step out of this place... Yeah. We might be determining the history of the world outside. No way. 
I had a thousand other questions, but before I could open my mouth to ask them. I swear, oh, good. If, if Quark has collapsed, I just don't care anymore. You know. There you are. <laughs> I'm sure he has. Did something happen? Quark has collapsed! Yes! We found it! <laughs> oh, they found the bomb. Found what? What do you mean, what? What else could we find? The bomb! The other antimatter bomb. The number two bomb is in the control room. Oh my god. Where is it? There it is. <gasps> is this it? Yeah. This is one of them, all right. And it's number two, apparently. Well, at least we found them all now. No. There could be more. Like Kay said, there might be a number four bomb out there. We have no way to know. Did you tell anyone else about this, Clover? Well, um, not really, but, uh, I wasn't the first person to find it. Who was? Kay and Luna. After they found it, they came to the infirmary and told the rest of us. Who was in the infirmary? Everyone. Tenmyoji and Dio were there. So were Alice and Quark, of course. Although they were still asleep. So everyone who wasn't asleep knows about the bomb. I see. Yeah. There's nobody else here, though. Where'd they all go? Right after we came here to look at the bomb, they all left. They were going to go look for you two. What about Alice and Quark? They're the same. Still sleeping. We checked them out just to be sure, but they seemed fine. That's good. Fi and I looked at one another and let out a small sigh of relief. Oh, right. I checked everybody's bracelets when we were in the infirmary. Did you want to know what they were? I'm dying of curiosity. Yeah, right. Took her only a moment to explain. Alice was a green solo. And Quark was a blue solo. Dio's bracelet made him a yellow pair. Tamioji was a cyan pair. So what are our options for groups? The next set of doors to open are going to be the white doors. That means we'll have to mix our colors so that we get white. And we're red single? Yeah, red solo. So we have to pair up with uh, cyan, I think. Mm -hmm. Violate out what that would mean. So Tenmyoji and Phi, okay. Phi and Tenmyoji would pair with me. Kay and Dio would pair with Quark. Clover and Luna would pair with Alice. Huh? There's only one option? Yeah, any other combinations don't make white. What about Alice and Quark? Luna said it's gonna be a while until they wake up. We'll just have to carry them. The secondary doors won't open without three bracelets. And if we can't open them, yeah, we'll get penalized. Exactly. Don't worry about Alice. I'm on her team. Are you saying you can carry her? Yeah. Well, I can get Luna to help me. True, I'm sure she'd be happy to help. Slide against Luna? I'm sure that idiot would be happy to help. <laughs> what about Quark? He's on Kay's team. There shouldn't be any issues there. Yeah, Kay's got it. Well, we still need to figure out what we're going to do about this bomb. Alice said we should be safe as long as it's not triggered with the remote. Maybe, but we can't just leave them here forever. I mean, if they go off, then everything in like a couple hundred kilometers is gonna get fried. Wait, a couple hundred kilometers? What are you talking about? That bomb should only have about as much explosive power as a ton of TNT. Which is nothing to sniff at. So that's not where near the kind of yield you're talking about. It could be. What if these bombs are just, like, the detonator? Oh. 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 You mean there might be a bunch more anti-hydrogen around here somewhere. Yep. Like right that Right over there. Thing. The reactor. Yeah. There are supposed to only be 18 antimatter reactors in the whole world. If that's one of them, then there's a lot of anti-hydrogen. How much is a lot? Three and a half kilograms. 
Three and a half? That's like 10,000 times more than Alice's 350 milligrams. There really is that much. And if it does explode, then we would be looking at an explosion roughly 10,000 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. So no. would it destroy the world? That's that's insane. That would take out a sizable chunk of the world. Hmm. Wait, Clover, how did you know that? Know what? That stuff about antimatter reactors. Um, well, that's a... Oh, during your time during my training. Yeah. Training for what? Uh my job? Uh, don't tell you about it. Ah, uh, of course. I didn't realize waiters these days need to memorize how many operational antimatter reactors there were worldwide. Or how much fuel each one of those reactors might be storing. You don't work at a cafe, do you? Did you hear about that from Alice? Yeah. Oh. Well, um, she's right then. And why are you using antimatter reactors at a cafe? That's, uh, what we call the... Coffee machines. What? Are you fucking with me? I'm telling you the truth. I work at a cafe. It just might, um, be a kind of fake job to divert attention. I think they call it a cover. What? Then what's your real job? I'm sorry. Clover, I really you are can't wasting you time. Else. I, I, I don't want to rehash the, like, Clover is a secret agent storyline for the seventh time. Why not? Yeah. It's classified. <laughs> Like, I, I I see all at this point. We yeah. s we see all. We don't care. We got it. We figured it out. It's fine. We don't care. The government. The government. But they have to have the characters find out because right. they don't know in this timeline. That's right. Alice said it was her job to eliminate enemies of the state or something. So you two do work together. Uh, oh no! Check your bracelets. How much time do we have left? What are you talking about? How long until the doors open? Come on, quickly! Damn. We were supposed to have met up five minutes ago. I'm heading back then. Remember, we're supposed to meet at the infirmary. You guys hurry back, okay? Bye! Her hair looks like strawberry ice cream. Hey, you have it. You're right. Damn it. She hasn't gone through the door yet, Sigma. Now she has. You have it! Oh. And she's gone. Fine. She's right, you know. We need to get going. Hold on. I need to check something really quick. Uh, what? Are we, are we going to the infirmary? What are you checking? Why are we waiting? What's happening? Oh, there you are. <laughs> So Quark has already collapsed. He yeah. And Alice are Quark sleeping. And, and Alice are sleeping. You're late. What were you doing? Sorry. Nothing. When we arrived, everyone else was already back. Quark and Alice hadn't left, of course. They were both sleeping soundly. Any traces of the madness we'd seen earlier long gone. Well, yeah, because they're sleeping. Whatever. Clover told us. You've seen the bomb in the control room. Yeah, with our own eyes. So what the hell should we do? That makes three bombs. Well, we have to do something. They're bombs, for God's sake. There's a quick and simple solution. Really? Remember what Alice said? There should be an emergency deactivation password. If you enter that password, the device should, well, deactivate. You see it? If we can find it, then we can enter the password. Right, yeah. So, if we have the password, we can deactivate them? Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. That's great and all, but we need that password input device she was talking about. So I guess Dio isn't incapacitated, I just realized. Yeah. Without that, we're still boned even if we did have the password. That's weird because at the last AB game... He just wasn't there. He just wasn't there. Do you think he was Not in the problem. infirmary? Unless he was placing the bomb. Maybe, but... I can't remember. We've resolved that issue. Huh? Show them. It doesn't matter. I nodded and pulled it out of my pocket. That was in the safe in the control room. Exactly. We didn't have any idea what it was at first, but Five figured it out. After Clover left, we tested it. 
Turned out I was right. It fit perfectly. I was right. Turns out I was right. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Couldn't get it to do anything, though. We plugged in a couple random characters, but all we got was an error. Still, I'm sure this is the thing Alice was talking about. We just didn't have the right password. But why was it in the control room? Do you think Zero Senior put it here for us? That would suggest it was also Zero Senior who set up the bombs. Doesn't that seem odd, though? Zero Senior wants us to play the Nonary game, right? So why would he set bombs? Maybe he wants to blow this whole place up if someone commits some crazy violation of the rules? That doesn't make sense. Our bracelets already have poison in them. If someone breaks a rule, all he has to do is activate their bracelet. Yeah, you're right. Well, whatever the case is, there's one thing we can be sure of. The person who set these bombs is one of us. Whether or not that person is also Zero Senior isn't particularly relevant at the moment, but what is relevant is that they know the deactivation password. If we can figure out who that person is and question them. We can get the password and turn the bombs off. Exactly. That would be my quick and easy method. So fess up. Which one of you set the bombs? Dio. Not that I expect you to do that. So we're going to be checking everyone. Checking us? Yes. Once they're set, yes. the bombs are controlled by a remote. <gasps> it stands to reason that whoever yes. set them has that remote. Yes. <laughs> so you're gonna search us for it? Yes. But no this, buts. This is what she did in the other timeline. If you refuse, yeah. that implicates you. Do what I say and you'll be fine, assuming you are actually innocent. Understand? No reason to wait. Let's get started. Anyone want to volunteer to go first? No. All right. Let's see. Wait. Huh? You only need to search one person. What? Why? Because I figured out who did it. I I know who did it. Have we already seen this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm skipping. It was it was Dio. Again. Yeah. So we get to skip this part. Points at him. And he's like, you're all gonna die. And then I think if it separates from him. Tenmyoji separates it from him. <laughs> it's gonna go what? off. Hoping I might spill the beans. Nice try. Unless one of you is secretly a medium, I think you're shit out of luck. Wait, a medium? <laughs> well, I'm out. Peace. Wait. Stop. Threw myself toward Dio and wrapped my hand around his wrist, slamming it into the floor. He struggled, but I put all my weight on it and kept his arm pinned. Yeah, right. This happened. So skip. He tries to grab the cyanide pill, I think. He's trying to eat it right now. Yeah. But then they sedate him. How much time do we have left? 25 minutes or so, I believe. And how much time until the white doors open? 25 minutes. The same. So, what do we do? We put in the password and stop the bombs. We search Dio, but he doesn't have a note or anything with the codes on it. Hmm. Well, only one option left then. Yeah, and that is? Intuition. We trust our hunches. That's... Are you suggesting we just... guess? What else can you do? Do you have a yeah. better idea? Yeah. Yeah, like, if for real well, you're in a situation no. like this, like... What? Wait, there's another way. <laughs> Before I can tell you, everyone has to promise to do exactly as I say. No questions. Everyone, stay here. Sigma, take care of the bombs. Yeah. What's your answer? Yes, ma'am. We all nodded. Good. First of all, Sigma, you're coming with me. Yeah, I am. The rest of you, right. listen up. I want you to take Alice, Quark, and Dio to the Floor B warehouse. Huh? Why? Didn't I say no questions? Good. That's it. We're done. That's it? <laughs> yep. Is there a problem? I seem to recall you promised to do exactly what I told you to do. 
Okay, we don't have much time left. Now get moving. Sigma, you're with me. I mean, it's a good plan. Let's do this. when we get back in time for the doors, we'll need everyone there. Yep. Phi turned without waiting and headed for the door. Before I could blink, she was gone. I gave everyone else in the infirmary a quick thumbs up and a shaky smile. <laughs> go guys, go! John. <laughs> You're literally a shaky smile. <laughs> Take care of these guys, okay? We'll see you back on floor B before you know it. So. Arrivederci. Oh, just trust us, all right? Good. Couldn't think of anything else to say. I turned and ran after Fi. I wanted to say something stupid like a Riva Dare Chain. Chow. Adios. Yeah, chow. Sigma's a chow guy. He would totally be a chow guy. Now, do we have to disarm them in order? Zero, one, two, three. You'll see. Because that'd be interesting. You'll see. So, crew quarters, bee garden, control room. You don't have to worry. It'll pantry. automate it. We just need to put in the passwords. So this is bomb number three. Okay. So what do we do? Get the input device ready. All right, done. I assume we have a cable for it. All hooked up and everything. How many minutes do we have left? Well, they'll go off when the doors open, so. Just don't check. 21 minutes. That means we have seven minutes per bomb. That includes travel time though. So about two minutes per bomb, probably. Bomb number two is in the control room on floor B. And bomb number one is also on floor B with the garden. So he doesn't remember bomb zero. Yeah. So, um, ARG! We just need to hurry, right? Yeah. So what are we supposed to do? I mean, you do have some sort of plan, right? It's not like I don't have one. Then stop being so mysterious and tell me. What the hell am I supposed to do? You need to make a jump. Just jump? Yeah. To another world. Another history. I, I can't. You didn't just guess that Dio set the bombs, did you? You knew it. Because you remembered it happening in another history, didn't you? Yeah. I did. But that's, I mean... You just have to do that again. So you're saying I need to go to another history and... Get the password idea of somehow. Doesn't have to be another one. It could be this one. Just go back to the past and question him. Then again, if you do that, you might end up changing things so you don't end up here. That would mean you couldn't deactivate the bombs in this history. So you have to come back to this exact moment or. Arg! Damn it. This is so confusing. Well, don't think about it then. We don't have time anyway. Just jump! Okay, okay. I get it. See you later then. Are you insane? You're talking about transporting myself across space and time. Only gravity can do that. That's right. Also, why should I have to do everything? Can't you jump too? My jumps happen suddenly out of the blue. I can't control them. Neither can I. Mm, that's a problem. It's okay, we remember it. We remember we it. We have the note. All right, consider this. Let's go. Maybe we've already jumped from another history to Yes! This one, yes! But our memories of that history got damaged or something. We forgot most of what happened in that other timeline. If this is like walking remember, through mud. A little bit, it's though. like walking over shards of glass for miles. <laughs> it's like sludging through thick snow or something. Anyway, it's just a hypothesis. Okay, well, great. I feel, I feel like Jigsaw is forcing me to play through this as part of my torture game. And you are your own jigsaw. Are you saying I might know it already? I just have to try to yeah. remember it. I just... I feel like we know. We so do! Anything? We need the... Do you remember? Yes. yes. Okay, I'm just gonna start skipping it. Password, 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 the bomb password. Here we go! So much of Alice. I know. You know what Sim was thinking about. Babs. Ooh. Okay, so this is bomb number three, right? Yeah. L X Q L H C N M R. L X Q L H C 
M M R. You're so smart. I'm not that smart. You are smart. You have I, am smart. I am You're smart. I am smart. I'm really smart. Good job. It worked. Phew. Phew. Well, we gotta find out what Phi looks like in a swimsuit. That's right. So. That's right. I sighed and wiped what felt like a bucket's worth of sweat from my forehead. Ew. Yeah, really gross. So, you knew the password after all. Interesting. Yeah, I guess I did. You heard it in another history? Yeah. Just what happened in that other timeline? We literally don't have the time. We don't have time to talk about this. Ugh, never mind. We don't have time for that. How much longer? Oh my god, we would have like two extra minutes if we didn't talk about that. 18 minutes. Good. We've still got time. Come on, let's- We've still got two more. The number two bomb is next on the list. So we're heading to the control room. Right. No time to waste. Oh, and don't forget the input device. <laughs> That'd be bad. And then she was gone. I hurriedly disconnected the device from the bomb and chased after her. Go, go, go! Go, go, go. Do we knock Dio out? I don't think so. Oh yeah, we did, we did. Okay. I skipped through it, but- Yeah. Yeah, he's been knocked out. Possibly put in a pod. Oh no, they have to take him. No, they him. they have to take his body, his subdued body, to the warehouse. So we have to have his bracelet, basically. So K is probably carrying him. Uh, Hopefully Luna. Carrying Cork. Luna oh. and Clover are carrying oh. Allie. Oh. Or, what's her name? Hopefully what Luna did was tell everybody about the aluminum foil trick and they took off with their bracelets and just put them all in the treatment pods. Yeah. That's what I would do. Yeah. But then again, Luna seems to be operating under someone else's direction. Right. So. Aside from her deciding to reactivate herself and hacking Zero Junior. We don't have it? time for panting! Yeah, right here. Okay. You got it. Right. Okay. Done. Hurry it up. Plug in the password. Done. We don't even have to write it. No, we do. Hey, what the hell? Calm down. You probably just typed it in wrong. No, no way. I'm sure I did it right. Try it again. How many tries do you get on these things? I know. Seems Shitty like input devices. One. Yeah, nothing. I would have been like one. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. That password's no good. Then it's different. All three bombs use different passwords. Yeah, it looks like it. Shit! Fi slammed her foot against the locker, her face uncharacteristically twisted by anger and frustration. That's, that's very good. That's, that's very good, Kimmy. Thank you. It's Fi going from... <laughs> she's all bored, and then... <laughs> I'm just imagining her just kind of having that expression on her face. Not even like a screenshot moment, yeah. like a snapshot. Maybe for like a like a brief second, I can see her having that. Be like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like in the in transition, you know. But her just like holding that look <laughs> it turns into a goblin. Yeah, she just holds it. What the hell are we gonna do? Uh. Sigma's got Try it. Try and remember it. Did we you do. You mean like a different history? Yeah, you figured it. You just can't remember yeah. this one. Is. Could you imagine we to... if we had to jump here? I know. I think it, it's giving you an opportunity to do it. <laughs> right. But it it, good. it 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 like doesn't really make any sense. No. Actually, that's not true. No, because you can get here without getting the other endings. But. So they're they're like making they're like locking you out with this. E Q D so D Y R N T K. D Y R? Yeah. N T K? Yeah. I got nervous that I remembered it wrong. No, you did it right. Am I smart? Damn, this is yes, crazy. You're very smart. Thank you. <laughs> so you did know it. Yeah, guess so. We don't have to do this every time. Don't scare me like that, all right? Come on, it's not like I was hiding it. I just couldn't remember it at first. Then it just kind of floated up. Or maybe it drifted down. Whatever. Point is, we disarmed the thing. Amazing. You sure don't sound very amazed. Okay, that just leaves us with the last bomb. It's, um... No, it don't. It's in the garden. Right. 
Let's go take care of it while you're on a roll with these things. Good. Time check. You make it sound so easy. Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. She spun around and was gone. I gripped the input device tightly and headed off after her. <laughs> We're running! We're going to the garden. If this was an anime, this is the part where they'd be going. <laughs> like that? No, no, no. No, oh, no, no. oh, it's more guttural, right? More like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone's gonna think you're having a heart attack. <laughs> I'm just doing anime sound effects. Finally, the last one. Yeah. How many minutes left? Yeah. Less than ten. Nine. Okay. We can still make it. Just stay calm, all right? You have the input device. Yeah, there we go, connected. Okay. We've done this twice go. already. Do you really need a third pep talk? No. You want me to remember another password, right? Exactly. What else would I I know about? what we're doing. But don't sweat it. You did great the last two times. I'm sure this one will be a cakewalk. Third time's the charm, right? That's uh not really how that's used. I'm just worried that lightning's not gonna strike twice, or Thrice, in this case, I guess. No, I think mine still works. There's nothing to suggest the first and second times aren't charmed, too. Uh, I guess so. Whatever. Just do it. You're the only person who can. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. What about you? You can jump to other worlds, too, right? Yeah, but I... I can't remember things as well as you, all right? I'm doing the best I can, but... Either I haven't seen the stuff you have, or... I just can't remember it. Maybe we've been going to different worlds. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah. I'll give it a shot. I'm counting on you. Hmm. That's weird. Password. The password. The password. password. Remember. Remember, Sigma. Come on. Lightning can strike twice. Or even three times. You can do it. You did it before. You did it twice before. It sounds like he's like... <laughs> you're about to get inappropriate. It feels like you're about to get really inappropriate. <laughs> Sounds like he's trying to get himself to <laughs> To what, John? Perform. <laughs> <laughs> you did it before. You did it twice before. This is nothing. You're a champion. <laughs> Come on, Sigma. You can do this. Pull up at the door to your memories. Okay, that didn't really work. <laughs> I just love your chuckle. Your You're a giggle. champion. You're a champion. <laughs> Okay. This is the content people want. Yeah, unfortunately. BQZ RGJ DXR. BQZ R G G J J. I don't remember. Oh neither. DXR. DXR. We're not perfect, okay? But we're very, very close. <laughs> that second very made you sound way more obnoxious than if you had just had to do it. That's why you it. had to do it. It <laughs> offsets we're the very perfection. Close. That would have been fine. But very, instead, you said, We're very, very, very close. <laughs> and that just. Yep. That made you insufferable when you did that. <laughs> That's the point. That is perfection. Yeah, I suck on that, Dio, you arrogant son of a bitch. Ah, <laughs> Ah, that feels good. I haven't felt this satisfied in ages. Oh my god. That works for your theory yeah. earlier. It's like my whole brain is just swimming in endorphins. I feel like it's just going to melt and dribble out my ears. Okay, we get it! This is, without a doubt, what heaven feels like. Yep. This is really going along with... Yep. Honestly, I feel like I could fly right now. Well, I almost wish there was another bomb so I could feel this again. Isn't this great? There is another bomb. Bye. Hey, what's going on? You're, you're really harsh in the vibe here. Would it really kill you to smile? We saved everybody. Oh, also, not that I need it or anything, but it sure would be nice to get a thank you or something. Oh, oh. thank you! 
Oh, oh, you can do it. No, 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 it's you, it's Sigma. Oh, oh, thank you, Sigma. You're the greatest. She's not an old woman. You're so awesome. I'll dress up in that swimsuit for you, just like I promised. I mean, just the swimsuit thing would be fine, really, but... She's like, wait, what? Are you even listening to me? I am. You said you wished there was another bomb, right? Well, I mean, I don't really... I hope you're happy. You're going to get your wish. What? I remembered something, too. Just a glimpse. We must have confronted Dio about the bombs. I'm not sure how, but we got him to tell us about them. Exactly. I've planted four bombs. They're the ones numbered one, two, and three. But there's also one more. Bomb number zero. Felt a cold shiver run down my spine. Suddenly I remembered it, too. I heard Dio say those very words in the Floor B warehouse. No. No way. Looks like you remember it too. Yeah. How much time do we have? Shit. We've only got four minutes. Well, hurry up. We need to get to the zero bomb. Right. Clutch that thing. I yanked the input device out of the bomb and turned to chase after. What are you just standing there for? Go, show me where the bomb is. What? Are you telling me you don't know where it is? You Do we have act got to like... be kidding me. No, we know where it is. Yeah. How the hell would I know where the bomb is? Oh, oh shit. You don't know? She bit her lip and nodded. Damn it. What the hell are we supposed to do now? We can't deactivate the bomb if we don't know where the damn thing is. Calm down. Just calm down. You need to think, Sigma. There has to be a clue somewhere. Pretend you're Dio. You need to hide the bomb. Where would you hide something important? Hide something important. Right. Hide. Hide. If I was Dio, where would I hide? Ah! I'd like these sequences a lot more if they actually showed what was relevant to the... Yeah. Sigma, wait! Where are you going? Bomb location. Don't follow me. Go find the others. Idiot! Do you really think I'd do that? I could hear her following me, but there was no time to argue. Instead, I focused on my goal. There was still time. He's Naruto running. He's Naruto running. Yeah. I said that like a mom. He's he's Naruto running. He's Naruto running. Isn't that cute, it's kids? It's okay. It's better if you just don't know how to pronounce things in Japanese. It means you have a life. Oh. It's okay. I know how to but pronounce for the record, things in Elvish. Naruto. Naruto. Emphasis on the na. Naruto. Naruto. Oh yeah, and it helps if you like lighten the is. T a little bit. So like Naruto. Naruto. Like Naruto. Naruto. That's how you gotta say it. Naruto. 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 Yeah. They're like curl your tongue a little bit when you say it. Naruto. Naruto. <laughs> Here? Yeah. Should be between these A B rooms. Wait, what? We did it not was find under, this. It was under the laboratory, I thought. God. Good, I was right. Remember, it's pronounced Naruto. Naruto. <laughs> That's how you pronounce it. Naruto. Naruto. How much time do we have left? About a minute. Naruto. Naruto. That's how you pronounce it. Naruto. Naruto. Shit. That's your line. Shit. Hurry. <laughs> I'm hurrying as fast as I can. Those bomb exploding. The input device was plugged in, I was ready to go. And I just had to enter the password. But what was the password? I couldn't shake the feeling that I already used up my third time charm. Still, I had to try. I shook my head and concentrated. <laughs> Don't show us a shot of Fi from the beginning room in the first five minutes of the game. That was brother. Yeah, that was a little shot of brother for no reason. Okay. L-X-A. Q-N-S. 
I didn't see the last I, three. I didn't even look at it, because... GDQ. Oh. And that's cool. how you play the game. And that's how you disarm four bombs. It, it stopped. Yeah. Fine, I crumpled to the ground. Ugh. The adrenaline that had sustained us suddenly gone. How did you know it was here? Did you see it in another history? It's hard to explain. The short version is that Dio hid something here, in another timeline. Oh. I guess maybe he'd put the bomb here too, so it's different. Pretty good guess. Wow. Yeah. Well, that feels a little cheap to me, it. but a little bit. I'll so, I'll accept it. <laughs> thanks. So, like in this timeline, he put the fourth one in between the AB rooms, but in another timeline, he put it underneath the laboratory table. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I think. Yeah. Oh, I don't need any thanks. Just. Uh, Just what? About that swimsuit you promised. What? What on earth are you talking about? I remember it from history. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes re- This is bad. The white doors have opened. We need to hurry. Everyone else is waiting for us in the Floor B warehouse. Um, what about the swimsuit? What the hell are you going on about? Just go! <laughs> the same was just like... Have the flowers in her hair always been black? I think so. Before I could protest, she turned and ran toward the magenta door. I sighed. <sighs> and headed off after her. Let's fucking go. I ran to the warehouse to find everyone else already there. They'd done spy ass and brought us the three unconscious members of our party back to the doors. Bye and I shared a quick glance, then headed over toward them. It'd be really hard to believe them oh, if I was. Goodness. I'm one so of the glad others. You're safe. I know. So, did you disable the bombs? Yeah. Could have done it in my sheep. Don't you mean in your sleep? Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Good job, you guys. No need to thank me. Although, I mean, if you insist, I uh, wouldn't mind a little swimsuit time. What? Don't be weird. Huh? You're disgusting. Yeah. He really is, though. One minute. Yeah. We need to hurry. Everybody know who's in their group? Yeah, I'm set. All right, then let's move. At Tamioji's command, we broke off into our teams. Kay carried Quark on his back and dragged Dio along the floor and through the white door on the left. Poor Kay. Clover and Luna carried Alice through the door on the right. And Tamioji, Fi, and myself ran through the center door. Ten seconds, nine, eight. Let's feel go. bad for K having Six, to drag those two five, useless people around. Four, I know. Three, two, useless one. just because he's they're gotta, unconscious. Two, he's got to like door. solve that room all by himself. But if anyone can, it's it's K. It's K. <clears throat> There's a gnat on your cup, but I blew it off. Gross! Don't tell them that. We'll think we live in a. S they think we live in squalor. Don't we? No, we don't. We don't. Every house gets gnats at some point. Are we in heaven? The door said Q. Are we in heaven? <laughs> what the hell? There's nothing here. Well, there are doors. The one we came in. And that one, which I'm assuming is the exit. Yep, figures. Won't budge. The plaque on the door just said Q. Q. What the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Are we really? in a Q? No, someone's just being a smartass. <laughs> huh? <sighs> Nothing. Maybe the Q is for question. Hmm. Well, I guess it is a very questionable room. If there was a deck of cards here, maybe the queue would be for Queen. That's a quality guess right there. Right. Well, we need to get out of here. Let's find a way to get the door open. We also need to find the star keys. I've got enough VP to open the door. 
you guys need to play the AB game some more. Yeah. We still need a few more points. If we can get those star keys, we should be able to play the AB game as many times as we need to. So... It's just a matter of time until we get the points we need. Right. I hate his stupid bolo tie. I know, I hate it too. Well, let's get started then. Good. Okay. Okay. Well, we're gonna do Q in the next video. Let's do it. Let's do it up. Okay, Let's so do it. really all that happened in this episode was we disabled the bombs, finally. So we're done with the finally. bombs. Finally. Oh my god. The bombs are mainly just like a lock to keep you from progressing to this point. That makes sense. Because after this room, things get really... Weird. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm very excited. What are we supposed to do here? The room's empty. Wait. Do you hear something? I need to be able to save, and I can't yeah. access the menu right now. Right. What? Yeah. Huh. Well, how much you want to bet it has something to do with that? Guess we should go, uh, have a look. And All there right. we are. Gonna go ahead. Well, there's a, another teaser for you guys. So yeah, this is where we are, right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and save her. Save her Rooney. Save her Rooney. Save her Rooney. Wow, this is crazy. Yeah. So next episode posted tomorrow, we'll uh, go through the key room. We're doing it. We're doing We're it. So close. Yeah. After the queue room, it's gonna be like... Is it just like a floodgate opens? We'll probably do everything after queue all in one video. It'll be long, but... It will? Okay. Yeah. We right, did guys. it! Yeah, so unless you had something to say, there weren't any interesting plot developments, so... No, Fi... I, oh wait, I well, we talked about Schrodinger's cat and all that crap, no, I forgot. That's, no. Fi interested me when she was like, I I can't control it, and then she was disappointed that he couldn't control it, like she expected him to be able to, mm -hmm. which I thought was interesting. Uh, and then she's like, I don't have as good a memory as you do, and it's like, girl, you're reciting, like, Latin and stuff. Yeah. I thought that was interesting. Um, and then she said something else. What did she say? I don't remember. But she said something else that I was like, I even said in the in the recording, that was weird. But mm. I remember what it was. So I thought it was just that she d couldn't remember as well as Sigma could. Oh, maybe that. She just doesn't yeah. remember after she jumps. Which I so. get it, because I feel like that's a direct reflection of you and I. Like mm -hmm. you remember things a lot better than I do, but still very strange. I don't know. I I got a funny feeling in my belly about it. You got a funny feeling. I got a, a Kimmy tingle. I don't have anything that would work. A Kimmy tingle. My Kimmy sense is tingling. Right. Well, anyway. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.